We're taking a look at two Benjamin Moore white paint colors that are immensely popular because of how clean and bright they are. To some of you, these two colors may look nearly identical. So what's the point in comparing them and analyzing them? Well, there's a lot of people watching that will argue that it's imperative that these two be compared because while either might be a good choice for you, I'll help you find out which one is best for you. We're going to go over their similarities, their clear differences, and where I see each one excelling over the other in fairly specific categories. If you wanna follow along and compare these two colors at home, what better way than to grab some Mighty Boards and paint one Chantilly Lace and the other Oxford White so you can see them side by side on big, beautiful Mighty Boards. Whenever you're picking a paint color, make sure to test said color or colors. And if you're testing, Go Mighty. Link down below if you want some more information on where to find them. So I wanna start with a more bird's eye view look at where these colors would be used. Inside the home, you might see them on baseboards, window and door frames, casings, doors of course, crown molding, and walls. On the outside of your home, you'll see white being used on trim as well, and the main body of homes too, like the main substantial portions of the exterior. Front doors and garage doors are usually painted something else typically, but to each their own really. If you want a white front door, I'm not gonna stop ya. When we look at Chantilly Lace and Oxford White, we can see that they're both pretty bright white paint colors. I don't normally like to call something pure white or just white because every paint color has some level of nuance and undertone, and you really can't find the pure bright white in paint form. Not to get into too many technicalities, but pure white would be a paint that reflects 100% of the light that hits it. And Oxford White is just under 87, while Chantilly Lace is sitting at a 90. I guess we can start there actually, <laughs> because these two numbers are known as light reflectance values, which is important to note for any paint color, specifically for whites, because it helps us determine how light this color is. The lighter the color, the more light it will reflect. I guess it's the other way around. Even though they're both really bright and white, Chantilly Lace is the brighter of the two. It used to be even brighter apparently, but even with a slightly darker variation, it remains the brightest paint color in Benjamin Moore's catalog. I still wanna figure out why it got a bit darker, so I'll keep you posted once I find out. So if you're after the whitest and brightest of the two, then I suppose Chantilly Lace is going to be more preferential to you. But being the brightest isn't everything. It's a bit overrated actually, <laughs> even in regards to white paint colors. In fact, I would argue that going too bright can really become an issue once you take these paint colors outside. We're seeing a lot of houses being painted white, like the main body of the home, whether it's stucco or siding or even brick. But have you ever seen those houses that look so white they're almost blinding? Like your eyes just explode in their sockets, figuratively speaking. That's the real danger of going too bright outside because not only do you have this massive ball of plasma outside bouncing its rays off of your home, but that sunlight also tends to cool colors down and your beautiful bright white home actually looks more like a really bright, vibrant, silvery, icy blue in some cases. So in that regard, wouldn't that give the edge to Oxford White being the slightly darker color? Well, it is darker, but not by a lot, meaning it may still be a bit bright for certain people's taste, especially your neighbors. Where it could be easier to use is in how it's darkened. Chantilly Lace is essentially a clean, stark white with maybe the slightest hint of visible warmth, but it's almost subconscious really. Many people view it as one of those white paint colors with little to no undertones, and that's a fair assessment I would say. Oxford White seems to start with that same bright white base with that little hint of warmth as well, but instead has just a touch of gray added into the mix. To me, this is enough to temper the color ever so slightly where its edges feel just a bit softer, not quite as intense. I will say, however, that the gray introduces just enough of a slight cool color cast, which is not enough to feel blue like an ultra white, for example, but it just means you won't really notice any of that visible warmth either. It sort of offsets it. So let's break down some categories. I wanna talk about my preference for interior walls, trim, which one's a better color to use throughout a home, and also go into exterior use as well. 
although we talked about it a little bit already. The caveat here is everyone's taste is completely personal. What may work for me could look horrifying to you, but I do know there are people that just wanna hear my verdict on the matter, so let's do this. Starting with interior use. If you're looking for one to use on your ceilings, Chantilly Lace is almost always going to be my recommendation. By virtue of the fact that it reflects more light and your ceiling light is going to be illuminating directly against it, I say more light the better in that case. Even if you don't really like the brightest possible light in your room, you could always just get a dimmer switch if you wanna customize your lighting. But you really can't go wrong with Chantilly Lace on the ceiling. As a wall color, I'm going with Oxford White, mainly for the practical element. That little touch of gray makes the paint color just a little more forgiving in both the application, but also the maintenance. It won't be a huge difference, but darker off-whites will be a little easier to apply and cover, and also keep clean, because you don't have as brilliant of a pristine white on your walls to expose any little imperfection or smudge. As a trim color, I would go with Chantilly Lace because it's just going to pop off any wall color that you throw at it, really. I always find it really nice to have some level of contrast with your walls and your trim, mainly your baseboards. And if you're going with the brightest white on your trim, it's just going to give you more options on your walls. You can go that extra little bit lighter and still have a clear difference between the two. If you were gonna use one of these paint colors for your entire home, like the entire inside, your walls, your trim, your ceiling, everything, I would have to go with, believe it or not, Chantilly Lace. This actually pains me to say because I have used Oxford White all over homes and it looks spectacular. But now that Chantilly Lace's brightness has been reduced a tad and because it just feels a tiny bit more warm and inviting, I think it's the more natural choice to use if you wanted to put it on your walls and your trim and your ceilings and just keep everything consistent. For kitchen cabinets, it's kind of a wash for me. I will just pick whatever white you're using on the walls because the difference in sheen will be different enough in my opinion. Going outside, the trim color I would recommend is Chantilly Lace because its brightness won't be as much of an issue when used in smaller doses. Oxford White would definitely be my choice over the two as the main body color because it just has that reduced brightness which will make it easier on the eyes. That being said, I wouldn't really recommend either as a main exterior color to a majority of people. This is one of my favorite white paint colors to use on the outside of your home, and I guess kitchen cabinets for that matter. Check out our review on it. 